Ladies, gentlemen, and boys and girls, welcome back with another video with Linksy. <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? Um, today I have a scrim for you guys between Achilles with no heal and uh, uh, well, basically Achilles with no heal. It's not Achilles with no heal. It is a scrim between the Greece, who it comes from the Greasy Boys. Uh, I call them the Greasy Boys, but they're the great. They're the Greece, I believe. <laughs> Um, there's crack shields and essence from Achilles with no heal. Niskele, Rube, Madrat, and Marshall of USSR from the Moratory. Um, so it's basically a scrim between people uh, from, frankly, the community. <laughs> uh, we can call it the community, uh, although we might get um, sued because the name has been already um, trademarked by the actual community TV show. But enough uh, pleasantries and let us begin what do we have here well we have a battle at alexandria aracosia i must say one of my favorite favorite maps i don't play it enough and damn me if i will but tomorrow i will play it a couple of times over because i missed this map and i keep saying i missed this map but i keep missing it out so what do we have today we have greece who's playing as Masilla. we have craig who's playing as uh Aten did I miss something? As the Adria, sorry, I wrote something wrong. And uh, and then we have Athens playing as the Arvani, or Arveni, or however you pronounce them. The Barbarian Dudes. Then we have Killerub, Galatia, Madra, Seleucids, and Marshall of the USSR as N Nervii. Interesting uh, thing out of the blue, we noticed out of the get go, we noticed the Illyrian Raiders are being placed right in front of these uh, tortoises. The tortoise position is fantastic. Siege tower position is also great because it kind of really interferes with the sally out, which is what the defense is trying to do. It also neutralizes uh, ballistas on the wall over there. These um, siege towers over there, absolutely stellar positioning to try and neutralize any, any sort of defense placed on the wall. And this ballista over here might get a little bit of a smackdown. Galicia and the Seleucid uh, general uh, and artillery placed here. Quite an interesting choice of positioning. Some hillmen uh, perhaps to help push this forward. They are far away. And Galicia is very far away from the remainder of the Seleucid forces. Which are on this um, Syrian line. Uh, Syrian heavy arches are on these towers. And the Nervii forces over here. Two ballistas firing of the get-go. Yeah, you need to make sure that your ballistas are not firing, that I fire at will, but rather uh, pre preferably you turn that off and manual fire as need be. And yeah, let's get going. Uh, the forces of the defenders, they're of course Gallic Hunters, Chosen Swords, I imagine, Levy Freeman, Celtic Warriors, uh, Mercenary X-Men, that's a nice choice. Uh, lo uh, probably a lot of X-Men considering there's Massilla and uh, IGI. Most of Celtic warriors, Celtic um, Greek formations over there. There's a horde of chosen swordsmen for Essence to play with later on. Heavy Freeman. I have not featured Essence in a game in a long time, so I'm quite happy with this one. I was told it was a blast of a game. 50 minute long game, so we're going to be here for a while. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, pause the video. Yes, get yourself a cup of tea. Get yourself a biscuit. Uh, and I'm stealing this off the total biscuit. No, <laughs> total uh, rip total biscuit. I'm stealing this off the spiffing Brit, who did kind of inherit the spirit of total biscuit. Um, so these guys are taking the shots from the Syrian heavy archers over there, getting a few shots into them, but they're using the tortoises uh, to block that off. Honestly, that's a smart move because it seems they were trying to use their hillman as a initial charge on these tortoises to break the wall. The hillman obviously will lose to the Aryan Raiders. The Aryan Raiders are a decent medium melee unit. And their frenzy charge would be more than enough to charge these hillmen down. These hillmen with their axes, they however, however have only 15 armor and these guys, these guys will not last for long. Helmet on this side moving up, but one single unit of archers over here uh, would be able to do so much damage. Slave Slingers on the wall. Mm. Larian Marines with Triple Silver Chevron. That's going to be interesting. Triple Silver Chevron makes them 48 melee attack, 66 melee defense, and 66 morale. 
there are some Illyrian cavalry charging out Craig Shields, my man, going outside with a blast, starting off really well. More marines over there. And on this side, is there any cavalry that I am missing? Oh yes, I am. I am noble horse over here. Uh, two heavy horse, a heavy horse, noble horse, and a light horse. A little bit of everything. And uh, Illyrian cavalry. Oh, this Illyrian cavalry. It's going to get. It's. It's good enough to be able to murder those Gallic Hunters off in one shot. They got peeled by those Hillmen, but they're dodging. They're dodging the peel from these Celtic Warriors. They did lose 30 men. Um, that was an absolute mad, mad position. Is this guy still firing artillery into his own? Yeah, the artillery is still firing. Is he managing to fire... He's wasting his ammunition over there. Not entirely sure what is happening. I mean, these uh, these guys breaking off a Gallic Hunter unit. I, I, I got distracted there for a second. Um, but breaking off that Gallic Hunter unit over there. Absolutely class. These guys will come back, but almost half of them have been eliminated. And 20 more over on this side. And they were getting another charge. 14 left. 13 left. Uh, they're, 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 they're not doing well. I mean, these Illyrian uh, horsemen are really not enjoying it those people are going into the hillmen over there and the Larian horsemen do just die they two uh, two left uh, they're trying to run away but they will get peeled out by the rest of them by the rest of these forces which is a really good waste of the pilas that these guys have is the celtic warriors only have one or two pilas Artillery shooting into those Celtic warriors, barely missing. Meanwhile, the Illyrian raiders charge into this hillman, and as we were saying, the hillman get absolutely wrecked by any form of such a charge. It seems the uh, uh, horses back here are coming outside, and they're going to enjoy themselves a nice lunch of Nervii troops. And, ooh, there's also the Hippeus Lancers over there. We need to keep an eye on them, but these Illyrian raiders do getting the bank for their buck already the artillery supporting them getting a lot of damage in oof oof that is really nice uh, these hillmen retreating for some weird reason going elsewhere there are more troops over here this light horse that managed to get out is getting charged by the agama cavalry and that light horse is not going to do well it seems that's the light horse that charged over on that side that agama cavalry getting a beautiful charge annihilating the tight horse with one singular go this uh, Illyrian cavalry is still running around a bit uh, crazy on its own. Uh, the Oathsworn General is protecting the uh, the fierce swords uh, and the Celtic ballista over there. But if this Hippeus Lancer has got a really good charge, 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 charge into these uh, Celtic warriors, or maybe even these Celtic countries, it could wipe out the entire force really easily. These Illyrian raiders, 128 kills. They are getting surrounded, but missile fire from the walls is supporting them. The slave stingers, 25 kills off the bat. And, oh, pulling back those Torx swordsmen was not a smart idea. They're trying to get the Pila to be thrown, so the Hellmen also get a little bit of it. But these Illyrian raiders are just running amok. And they're herding the Celtic, uh, the Gallic hunters into those... Uh, into the Cepheus Lancers. More Illyrian cavalry charging out, archers shooting, slingers shooting, and these uh, these these <laughs> these guys have been completely herded out. Now all you need is those Cepheus Lancers to actually get the killing shot. And there is an opportunity here to do so. Absolutely beautiful opportunity. More cavalry is coming around the corner. Uh, actually, it's hiding just around the corner. Uh, this Massilian Lancer is just running around doing its own thing. These slingers are getting a free reign into these hillmen and these Celtic, Celtic warriors. Meanwhile, these cavalry is just acting as a pain in the arse for the, 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 uh, for the attackers. Mid, while this was happening over here in the rear, the attackers make uh, a move on the settlement. They move up the Galatian swords to block the Terra Tower. It's a fantastic move. And the tortoises are starting to take down the wall. Celtic warriors on the walls are trying to block any possible use of those Galatian swords in there. Now these Hillmen and Galician swords are purposefully staying outside and waiting for an opportunity to charge in here. They understand that this is a kill box designed to murder them, so they're waiting and getting their chances. These Syrian archers are firing, 
few of them are firing into troops over there, but that's nothing major. As we are saying this, the forces on this side are being corralled back in. It seems that the defense decided the attack, um, the attack did not make a big enough breach into its side. The artillery is being moved and it is firing at what? It's got 21 kills. What is it firing after? It's wasting its ammunition. That's what I believe it is doing. And that's not something I normally see. I mean, sometimes you forget it, I understand, and it just does so much damage to your own forces uh, without even realizing. So the attackers try to go in, but they realize there's too much forces, just too much. They're trying to surround these Celtic Warriors over here, and they might just might. They have enough troops if they do charge in two units of Galatian Swordsmen over there, whereas all of the remainder on this side. So four units on this side holding the line against these Celtic warriors and sandwiching these two it would be more than enough uh, but they, they they are unfortunately giving time for the defense to organize themselves Thorak swordsmen and axe warriors getting into position the chosen swordsmen are moving back whereas more Thorak swordsmen and Gallic hunters over there getting in position while we are saying this light horse is moving in and uh, where is the Messerian general decides to go inside the home it lost eight units for free, possibly from the siege towers over here, or maybe even from this ballista, shooting at them. The hunters over there are hidden from plain sight. They've managed to break the <laughs> these helmet managed to break part of the wall down, and they have done just enough damage. Now, two helmet units were lost. The Rainier unit was lost. Light horse unit was lost over here. Uh, the amazing charge of these Gamma Cavalry charging into the light horse from, from the flank doing so much damage. But the Hillmans are getting absolutely wrecked and the kill box is very real over here. So they need to make a move 86 on the fire damage. Uh, uh, fire damage on that siege tower over there is something not to scoff at. The light horse over here are just floating around deciding to find a weakness and I'm trying to cover this entire map in one place. It seems that the assault has been paused uh, for this moment. The first 10 minutes were quite, quite busy. Now, as we're saying that, the assault has not been paused. The Celtic Ballets are being pushed forward in f with the siege towers in front of them. Now, apparently, um, the ballista moves faster if there are siege towers in front of it. I have never seen this. I do not understand this. I cannot see the speed value of the unit, so we cannot really say. The siege towers over here possibly firing into these slave slingers. The slave slingers are going to get a few good decent shots into these Celtic warriors and do some damage on those Celtic warriors over there. Meanwhile, the Illyrian cavalry is just being pushed back. I would circle around if I was the Illyrian cavalry. They're making a mistake, leaving so much of a gap back here. And again, these guys are just not that great at... They're amazing me medium melee infantry, but they're not great at holding charges, are they? The Oats one, yes, but the rest of the units over there are not... And as we are saying this, the uh, Illyrian Cavalry charging straight... Oh, what just happened there? Charging straight head-on into these Celtic Slingers, but then go dodging last second, trying to block these Celtic Slingers from doing their little thing and causing that disruption to happen. What is happening meanwhile? Meanwhile, the Light Cavalry over here has shown itself and is prepared to do the damage necessary. Celtic Ballista over here. Doing its own thing. The arrow, the arrow stars have finally broken. There is a charge inside of the settlement, and these Galatian swords absolutely wrecked. Cross firing happening. These uh, Gallic hunters getting a decent amount of kills for free, pretty much. The Illyrian cavalry does break through, but there is no movement of defending the flanks. And even though they're a Pilatron, they are charging straight into these Gallic Hunters, and these Gallic Hunters will not return from it this time. These Gallic Hunters losing a lot of their units. Uh, the Celtic Warriors over there wasting more Pila, and so much Pila. Unfortunately, Nervi are being targeted down, because the defenders understand if the Nervi get in, it is going to spell doom and decay and destruction for them. So they're doing their best to try and damage as much as possible. These Gallic Hunters are pretty much down to less than half health. Um, yeah, they're down really heavily and they're very heavily injured and that is not a pretty sight at all whatsoever. 
Celtic Warriors over here trying to break the fourth uh, on that side. These these guys have been severely damaged because of they their <laughs> pretty much uh, formation being disrupted to such a heavy extent. Um, honestly, that would have been a great chance for the general of the Macedonian uh, to just loop around and charge into this. He would have broken at least three, four units. But then again, losing your general so early on is not one of the greatest things you could do. There is a charge of Thorax Swordsman coming in first wave. There's more of this wall is being brought down. And the wall is being brought down. These slave slingers are being pulled back. And uh, unfortunately, they might get caught on top of the wall. Uh, the wall over here is being taken down and more damage is being done to the wall over there and this wall is going down as well Celtic warriors the assault is is the very very heavy but the uh, casualties are insane yeah the damage is being done and it's being done in huge volumes the defense has managed to repel the first few attacks with very very like little problems whatsoever Torox swordsmen charging in. They're trying to neutralize this arrow tower over there. These levy freemen will not be able to do well. However, they are being uh, used with great effect to throw their peel into the flanks of these Torox swordsmen. And these Torox swordsmen are going down like flies. Now they're getting surrounded. They need more support. More of these tr troops need to move forward and charge in. Surround the levy freemen from all sides and do damage. Because if they do not, Celtic warriors are being moved in. Chosen swordsmen will move in. And that will spell the end of this assault celtic warriors did move in to try and support their, uh, their solicited brethren over there even if very briefly and over here they've managed to charge in and try and start fighting against these mercenary x warriors however the mercenary x warriors do short work of the very lightly armed units the um, celtic ballist is being pushed in at a safe distance behind these uh, siege towers and there's always being scared of having a cavalry assault on you so they are protecting their sides more and more troops are getting shot at uh, these slave slingers 200 kills on these slave slingers 200 kills on slave slingers i must reiterate that number that is absolutely phenomenal the syrian heavy archers trying to deal with them even though these prices are probably at the end of their tether with regards to ammunition, but they can still probably get an, easily another 100 kills. These Syrian heavy archers are getting ripped apart. Uh, apart from that, these Celtic wars are trying to push the tortoise in, but it is, seems to be glitched. The artillery from Arveni is taking the opportunity to just shoot a few left taps in these Celtic warriors and just enjoy the fun. It is has 1% fire damage, so that is something. 2% uh, fire damage. Um, but it is just an oh, that was a sneaky, sneaky shot. He's trying to get to this Celtic Ballista, burn it down. The Gallic Hunters coming in and they are waiting for revenge. They're preparing to shoot their volleys and melt these units. These guys are out of ammunition, as you can see. 225 kills, absolutely fantastic. Over here, these guys are still at 24. They're trying to get their best of couple of kills on these Gallic Celtic Warriors, but they're facing the right way. The artillery is doing its best to shoot, but it is missing widely. The angle is just too much, just absolutely too much. And the artillery is not doing a great job whatsoever. It is almost burnt down as well. If we see, uh, if we go, wait, how, how was it that we see? Okay, so if you look at, oh no, that's the heavy siege stuff. Oh my God. It's like, wait, what? Okay, these Gallic Hunters got a little bit of damage done to them. The Celtic Warriors over here managing to uh, get in between the forces of the attackers. However, the Torx Swordsmen surrounding them from the flanks as they managed to beat the Levy Freemen, routing them off the map. And these Celtic Warriors getting shot at from every single side, completely getting routed. The I mean, amount of firepower that the attack has on the front is insane now they do need to get some units to cap this uh this tower because if they do manage to cap it that would do so much damage to any of the defenders in the area they also need to be pouring in the troops they are bringing the troops but they are unfortunately way out of position to be of any use how is the assault on their side the assault on their side has paused for all intents and purposes and they're trying to do their best to shoot in at these gallic hunters they're getting a few good shots in but their damage is not uh, not, and nothing to write home about this needs to fall and needs to fall now 
because if it does not fall the damage is going to be substantial for the nervii and the seleucids uh the nervii and seleucids are making good headway they've broken a couple of units over here and established a beachhead the defense is scrambling to throw units into this and trying to block any form of assault from coming in too deep into the settlement but they need to charge in illyrian axe warriors uh charging outside of the settlement trying to stop the assault and slow down uh, the pace of the battle what okay one unit of fierce swords make it to the wall one unit of fierce swords make it to the wall i would have sent uh what are they doing i think they're trying to get the wall uh, the fierce swords off the wall because i would have problems getting off here but i would actually not mind sending a unit um a couple of units in through here trying to capture that tower as that would do so much uh, damage to the defenders uh, if you put some pressure over there even if you just put a unit of archers up here to shooting there while you're holding the wall it seems the defenders managed to push but uh, stop the push as f uh, that was happening to them they're still getting a little bit of pressure but these Celtic warriors and chosen swordsmen are holding the line the historic swordsmen uh, are in and retreat and preparing to do the second assault fierce swords have charged in the gates uh, are being captured arrows are being wasted from the defense from the attackers to try and kill the slave singers which are being phenomenal in use these uh, Syrian heavy archers being used to kill these uh, mercenary axe warriors and the Celtic Ballista over here uh, preparing to find a good shot into the defense now there is almost nothing holding this side so if they did decide to charge in with all of these forces perhaps even a couple of Torah swordsmen from the Seleucid side and push into this this flank most of the defense as we can see right now is found back here and back here so this would be a real big massacre if it was to happen the Illyrian Torah Spears are focused very heavily on the fierce swords the defense can see where the attack is and the attack can also see that the square is pretty much ripe for the taken and if they had any cavalry which they do not have charging the cavalry in here would kill all of these slingers at very ease very very easily maybe even these gallic hunters doing immeasurable damage to the defense as those gallic hunters are being kept in reserve oh that's a beautiful bird that's an absolutely beautiful bird we went around 360 degrees there so these fierce swords charging on their own they do need support but unfortunately the x war is still holding the line over there so the fierce swords over here charging in on themselves they are getting a number of these pillars by the Illyrian marines wasted and even some friendly fire on their own friend uh Illyrian marines which are down already 50 men pretty much but now the repositioning is working and these fierce swords absolutely shredded charges counter charges pillars being thrown and they are gone they went into berserk mode but it is too late the pillars are hitting the allies over here as you can see that guy had a pill on his shoulder but that was it uh, more one more unit is being thrown into the min, mi, uh, meat grinder again they're throwing in units one by one but they're not managing the gallic hunter is trying to come in and the syrian heavy are just getting caught out out of position 23 kills uh, unfortunately torque swordsman will end them they did do the right move to try and put pressure on this side but the Galatians over here need to put pressure they need to charge in because it is now or never their allies need support the charge needs to happen now from both angles you need to assault from every single angle honestly I would have taken this tortoise and attacked here I would have put more pressure back here if you break this wall over here uh, this little bit you stop any units that are up here from going down and these celtic slingers will be at a perfect angle of destroying everything now you still have the ballista and you can use the ballista 50 percent of the ammunition to break down that fort wall and that would be very very good for the attackers chosen sword over the breaking the f this is very hard fought battle on this side the chosen swords are doing their best to hold the line but of course there's only so much they can do um i against the onslaught however as we can see the reserves are getting depleted nervii has been properly annihilated oh we've missed something here oh we've missed something the heavy horse charged in the rear and the ballista has been broken and these archers have been assaulted the damage has been done they have cleaned up 
a lot of damage here while we were discussing tactics inside it seems we've missed a really epic calf charge and they're circling in um unfortunately denervia is almost out of the game his forces have been utterly annihilated in the assault and the heavy focus for of forces on his forces um meant, meant that he was not able to do much these slingers are shooting in but they are doing some friendly fire over there which is a small mistake you could always exactly they're doing the right thing they're trying to put their slingers on the walls up here and try to do damage as necessary uh, however they can of course this is only limited to a certain amount of moves the oats were charging in into this box formation of illyrian uh, marines which perhaps would be a bad considered a mistake as they are going to get peeled into the flank really heavily they are getting a lot of kills but holy moses i mean oatsworth should not be dropping that fast and so much pila so much slave infantry throwing their uh, pebbles at them the oatsworth are getting ripped galatia decides now to start this assault as they are happy that the arrow tower has been captured but at what cost both nervii and the Seleucids have pretty much been annihilated nervii's forces are routing uh, noble horses charging in to clean up the rest over here there are some heavy horse waiting for anything that they might need to kill and eat these noble force are trying to charge in through the gap through the gap over here and finish off these units of celtic uh, swordsmen which are routing the uh, the old swarm from the nervia is trying to huddle up into formation and trying to you know weather the storm they're decided to charge in and throw their few remaining pila and trying to do their damage so unfortunately it is a storm a storm of uh, projectiles being thrown at them these guys are down to 71 they're still getting kills but now they're completely out of formation and that's prime target for a good calf charge in the rear with the calf that is still there the calf the noble horse calf is indeed charging into that and they're wiping out the remainder of these oats worn for good hippeus lancers and noble horse cleaning up the remainder forces for um the nervii nervii are out of the picture at this point galatia has finally decided to make a move but it is too little too late they did lose um one of their ballistas in their salt and now they can do damage especially to that blob of celtic warriors but there's only so much you can do mercenary Gallic -like hunter is doing very well syrian archers there's a lot of them left so they can do a lot of damage they need to be pulled in all of this needs to be pulled in archers fired archer fire needs to be focused they need to forget that this place exists they need to charge from both sides at the same time the balance of power is in favor of the defense and this is not a place that you would want to find yourself in in this uh, scenario and that calf charge out there absolutely fantastic there i was never actually properly allowed to deploy and that is something you need to do as a defending faction you need to absolutely defend your your uh self by controlling the rate of the battle we have discussed this number of times and it is what we'd like to see it is an entertaining game at the end of the day and we are having fun watching this at least i am i hope you are i'm assuming that you are because i am but that is very yeah that sounds as if i'm very full of myself and what i believe is entertaining could be entertaining to you i hope you are, you are enjoying it as much as i am let's put it like that i'm very tired it is indeed 1 20 a.m i should have been gone to sleep an hour and a half ago but i decided to play a couple of games of age of the empires which i will also upload later on and then procrastinate by visiting random youtube channels and trolling people uh that i know but as we are saying this, um, we are in various different scenarios over here. Gallic hunters and uh, Celtic warriors moving in. The arrow fire is uh, fire, fire arrow fire, fire arrow fire is going in on that ballista. But the ballista is being used as a tr uh, way to get those Gallic hunters to shoot in. Um, the artillery is shooting in, getting a decent amount of kills. But these are Celtic warriors. These are not units you want to be firing at. The historic swordsmen are indeed units you want to be firing at, but of course there's only so much you can do. Galatia's reserves are thinning out, Seleucid's reserves are pretty much gone. The archers are inside the settlement, the general is on the other side, but the general is needed perhaps to even break through the historic swordsmen. Galatia's front line is thinning out. Uh, more Galatian swords are pouring in and they're spamming their way in. They're trying to just block 
uh, the assault as much as possible. Now, I must say, if they've done this assault before, if they did this type of move, just as um, the Nervii and the Seleucid player over here were, this would have been absolutely in their favor. They would be already pushing at the center over here, and they would be massacring most of the troops. Keep in mind that there is very little left in reserve. There are some Torx swordsmen and ex-warriors left down here in reserves, but the defense... Three chosen swordsmen left in reserve. Hippias Lancers are down 30 men. Um, some Illyrian Marines, but they've already wasted most of their Pila. And more Illyrian Marines. I mean, there is not much left for the defense to do. Massilla lost most of its troops. And uh, Arveni also has taken heavy casualties in trying to defend this. These Galatian swords are doing well over there. And the artillery shots in those Illyrian Marines quite a good uh, target but again they're a little bit too far off to get proper damage and these Celtic warriors are still not completely broken and these Syrian archers need to move in and do their thing uh, they need to be shooting in at an angle they need to melt those Torx swordsmen they should be able to shoot over the edge over here especially at the Torx swordsmen now Solus is doing the, the mistake they're trying to fight one side at a time and that is allowing the defense to be able to move the units as necessary to defend the areas that are being placed under most pressure they're waiting for the arrow tower to do the damage here which is absolutely fine if that is what you wish to do but you only can do so much the general being sniped over here while they're trying to snipe the general which is very <laughs> i mean a desperation move from the attackers because their balance of power is moving desperately out of their hands again charge in a unit shoot the archers um as for best as you can and try to do damage the Hippias Lancer is charging outside of the settlement. The uh, Noble Horse and the Heavy Horse are looking for any stragglers. They can clean up. The Arrow Tower over there is controlled by the Seleucids at the moment. And for Galatia, uh, it seems the flag is. They are shooting their arrows over this and trying to do as much damage as they can. These Torx swordsmen are eventually going to break. They are getting surrounded by more Galatian Legionnaires. The Galatian Legionnaires need to swarm in. They need to swarm in. They are giving time for the defense to reform. In fact, the defense is pulling back its troops and preparing itself. Also, while all of this is happening, Celtic Slingers and Slave Slingers up here are doing their best. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Where was those archers? Was that, those were the Gallic Hunters? Oh yeah, these Gallic Hunters over here. Absolutely fantastic shots. Those Pilas from the Illyrian Marines, the Javis, just absolutely melting those Galatian Legionnaires. And I believe at this point it is almost game over for the attackers because there is nothing much they can do. They are being pushed at from every single side. The balance of power is in favor of the... Um, defense and it is let's say 60 percent favor of the defense the attackers did do a good job in the attacking what they did mess up is the timing timing is very important and they needed to keep timing on their hand their hand understandably they were assaulted by a lot of cavalry from their flanks and that is something that uh, is very understandable but they need to keep the pressure while retreat the, they need to do a push an orderly push while putting pressure on all sides at the same time because that would have placed the defense at really severe disadvantage as we were saying this, they still have some uh, reserves, but not nearly enough to overcome what's left inside this settlement. And remember, these these guys can fall back very, very easily to these f insanely defensible choke points. And they can get hundreds of kills from these arrow towers. Just just keep that in mind. Um, these slave slingers, uh, Gallic hunters, are all in position. The kill boxes have been made. The defense is doing its thing uh while the attack is reorganizing themselves and they're taking a little bit too long to decide what to do and uh, perhaps that is not the smartest of choices uh galatia moved deciding to finally move in the rest of its troops completely giving the outside off to the horses of the defense and now they are completely cut off what will they do the final reserves of Masilla coming up the hill and will the final assault begin? There's 20 more minutes of fighting. Who knows? Maybe they will bring it back. I mean, it's entirely possible they will bring it back. Keep it in mind that there are positions um, that mistakes that the defense can do. However, the defense, if they do lose it from this position, they really and truly have... Uh, 
what are these Turks have been doing? They're pushing in as the defense is giving ground, but yielding ground in this position, they've placed this uh, Torx swordsman into the mercy of those slingers. Uh, exactly, these slingers are getting really good shots into the flanks of that Torx swordsman. They need to assault, they need to march. Archers are being fired into the rear of these levy freemen. They're trying to kill these levy freemen. Levy freemen have, um, so they have 35 shield value and their shields are on their heads, so they got a really decent good missile block chance there's a lot of missiles left for the attackers so perhaps that is their aim to use their missiles uh, and do the damage but again their ammunition is running low in a number of situations these Galatian legionaries every time they move out of position those Galat hunters take a really good swipe at them and they do damage these uh, a Torax swordsmen getting charged and almost broken and more Torax swordsmen come in but now the charge needs to happen from Galatia as well please Galatia charge in we need no you're sending your troops the wrong way Galatia what no why but Galatia why Not even these pikemen are, are in formation. Galatia. Why are you sending the troops this way? You charge in through this side. You can break through these terror spears really easily. Yes, these Illyrians will hold you, but you will surround this units. Which are causing you so much pain. These Illyrian Marines over here are dying very heavily. What is this move? Archers, yeah, exactly. They're they're playing to the defenders' advantage. They're letting the defense hold itself, uh, hold the ground. They need to charge in. They they move too slowly. F shots being fired. Torx swordsmen over there getting severely damaged. Uh, Galatian legionaries. I mean, again, the Galatian legionaries are open to f the side shots. These Torx swordsmen down to 53 men, but only getting f so few kills. So few kills on those Torx swords. Archers being thrown, throwing. Yeah, archers begin their bombardment from uh, Galatia. There's a little bit of movement from Galatia as it's charging its troops forward and it's trying to move in to break these units. And it might be able to break these units, but they need to charge now, not later. They're getting thrown with their pila into the rear. They need a unit to attack over there. What is this madness? These uh, Turk swordsmen finally breaking those Illyrian marines. Turk swordsmen going into those units. Finally, there's a little bit of a movement from the right side. But on the right side, there's nothing that there is really moving. They need to move, move in all in now. They need to charge in. Stop bracing. Stop throwing your pila. Charge in. Overwhelm them. You had superior numbers. You had superior melee fighting forces. Why did you try and fight the missile war? They had more missiles. They have the Adriai. Adriai have some of the best missiles in the game. Because every single one of their units is basically a Taurus spear. They're shooting their own men. No, they're, they're actually targeting these Massilian spears, but the Massilian spears are charging into the flank of the Syrian archers because they left the flank open, the Torx swordsmen coming back in, but now Torx swordsmen are exposed in their rear. Torx spears going in there, finally Galatian legionaries moving in, but again, slow, too slow, they can charge the Torx spears and win. Torx spears have very limited attack, Galatian legionaries have very good attack. These guys will not last... Uh, fight i mean look at this the charge right just from the charge look at their numbers dropping look how fast their numbers dropping already 10 men or 15 men 20 men just from that charge and they keep dropping they will not hold and over here there's a gap they can actually get those galatian legionaries in those rock swordsmen are blocking the gap but they those rock swordsmen were out of position Torx Swordsmen, Galatian Legionaries over here fighting a horde of Illyrian Marines, Torsen Swordsmen, Torx Swordsmen, Axe Warriors. Anything the defense has is throwing into that breach, to that gap. These Massilian Torx Spears over here, they're getting murdered by these pikemen, but again, too little, too late. These pikemen are now exposed again. The same mistake again and again. These uh, Illyrian Marines is doing absolute beautiful work. The massacre has started. The defense is um, in a superior position. 
the position that the attackers are in now they should have been there 15 minutes ago because they were in position they could have pressured but they didn't they decided to wait and get their units in position sometimes you just need to move forward and take action as it is happening Gallic Hunters over here moving out of the range of the Syrian Archers because Syrian Archers would win, that's Krim. Dorak Swordsman charging it. Ah, oh, they need... Okay, get that unit of Galatian Swords, move it through here and charge in behind this line because you need to charge in behind that. What are you doing? No, you're giving them time. <laughs> I, I guess I could also say that I have the hindsight of watching the entire map, but... You're giving them time whenever a unit breaks uh, or is about to break. Again, when you charge those uh, Massilian Taurus Spears, that's a unit that will break very easily against uh, Legionnaires. These Stark Swordsmen do not have the ability to block both sides. So what you need to do is put them in column formation and walk straight through, put pressure in their ear. This is another reason why you need cavalry, because cavalry could run through this area so easily and the damage it would wreck it into the rear of all of these troops absolutely incredible keeping in mind that all of the um troops are on the outside for the defenders uh, for yeah, exactly for the, the cavalry is all on the outside for the defenders yes these uh light horse are trying to come in but they will not be able to do much these gamma cavalry would be able to just charge into here and do so much damage just one charge into this rear line five units will break guaranteed five units will break 300 kills guaranteed Absolutely guaranteed. Will these the general die? Yes, of course. But would you break that? Yes, you would. And that would give you the opportunity to charge in and all of that. These Celtic Stingers are moving in at a really dangerous angle. They, these archers, do they still have ammunition? They need to shoot at those Celtic Stingers. Map awareness is a very important thing. Those Stingers are picking off all the Ballista uh, crew at a very easy, easy position. Ballista crew being shot at, being murdered. Okay, these Celtic Slingers are being absolutely wrecked. They are out of position, but they did a very important job, and this Ballista crew is now down to 20 men. Again, Axe Warriors are now blocking in the small gap that was present. That was a mistake on the defender's part, but it was not exploited by the attackers. The attackers are moving such a slow pace that they're moving met very methodical uh, pace, but it is unfortunate. That they're doing so exactly what we're talking about happening now these torque stores been moving in the, the attackers are aware of this and moved in to block it but again they needed to be the ones who were exploiting that little gap there is another gap here f about to form because these uh, torque swordsmen will break very soon again there's one over here these torque swordsmen are not fighting they need to charge in and break this these pikemen are going to uh, get absolutely shredded by those Illyrian marines. And these Illyrian marines are the elite Illyrian marines. So they're going to get a lot of kills. Those pilotros are absolutely fantastic. The noble horse is getting in position to charge in for Galatia and do the damage necessary. Archers are firing in. Again, there is a gap over here. Charge in. Get these chosen swords in engaged. Get everyone possible engaged. These Illyrian Marines are moving in to block an impossible charge, but they will not charge. They're moving too slow. And this is why the game is over. They've balanced the uh, balance of power. They've actually got an incredibly good engagement on this side. This was absolutely fantastic, favoring the attackers. However, they are going to lose simply because they are not pushing the mistakes the defense are making and the defense is making absolutely huge mistakes the positioning of these troops are out of position these chosen swordsmen need to move over there they have the cavalry to protect their outsides you can see where everyone is they are getting pushed slowly from this side they lost that celtic uh, slinger unit f at a really big disadvantage they could have kept it here and shot at an angle yes that ballista is going to do damage but that ballista is mostly out of ammunition because it wasted a lot of ammunition and if they were aware of what was happening these axe warriors are just slowing down absolutely fine but they left gaps earlier which would have meant that their units could have lasted longer they could have stacked units in a better position they fought against the pikemen even though the pikemen only got 47 kills so there are mistakes that were done by the defense which were not exploited agi and arveni are pretty much the only ones left um, with the exception of course of the Massilian general everyone else from Massilia is dead and the ballista over there with the ballista did not do very well 
chosen swords are being brought in to support these Illyrian marines and to try and block off that thing either that or trying to bait the units to come towards them so then these uh gallic hunters over here will fire their last few volleys and get very good angles of shots Illyrian marines Illyrian Illyri Taurus spear is still ready there's more Illyrian marines over there the Illyrian marines are a fantastic spear unit they just do so well um, this ballista is trying to get a good shot into those Illyrian marines. They are the bad target. They need to be firing at these uh, chosen swordsmen, which are now again, once again, hiding behind that gap. They were targeting the wrong uh, unit over there. These Illyrian marines, as good as they are, they will die. They do not have that very good survivability in the long run. Syrian archers over here are out of ammunition. Unfortunately, these guys barely used anything. 50 kills, 70 kills, 69 kills. Um, and that was limited. These Illyrian Marines are being pulled back. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are left to die. Um, 98 kills on Illyrian Marines, absolutely fantastic. These Gallic Hunters getting targeted, and they're down from almost 120 men down to 75. That was a really good shot over there. The Greek Ballistas, 70, 175 kills, beautiful. These Gallic Hunters were pushed back, and the damage is done. Now, the question is what is about to happen? Because the defense is getting, as we can see, a little bit angsty. They're trying to exploit any little gap they're finding. And they're finding a few of them now. Because the units are tight. Getting really, 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 really thinned out. Salus is not noticing this little gap over here. And these troops are indeed charging in. More Illyrian Marines coming up close. And they're going to be doing damage. Syrian archers over here are absolutely getting wrecked. Galatian engineers, their reserves, they're moving in. Driven reserves are heavily depleted. These guys are very depleted. 200 kills, 60 kills. These guys did really well, but again, these Syrian archers are being put in the front lines. Again, if they still have ammunition, you do not want them over there because not only half of them will shoot in that situation. Meanwhile, what does the defense have left? Defense have a lot of slave singers. They do have some marines left here and there popped out around the place. They do have a couple of chosen swordsmen, which are a pain in the ass. They have four units pretty much full health full uh pla chosen swordsmen they have a few units of gallic hunters left and these gallic hunters are still hidden and they're preparing to get a few decent good shots into the enemy and uh, these galatian engineers not will they sir yes the galatian swords are pulling around and we're going to try and surround these chosen swordsmen which were charging around the corner but more chosen swordsmen are being pulled out of the woodworks and the damage is going to be contained the assault is nearing is zenit galatia it's your general can do so much his units are retreating charge 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 your men in they're out of position they're not uh, abusing that pos uh, situation these larry marines holding them in place doing a decent amount of damage chosen swordsmen are also in place again these uh, gallic hunters were uh, they were noticed and they were murdered really quickly the marines are charging in the last stand is being organized back here couple of units left the defense has taken quite a bit of a beating it seems that they are actually on falling back but in reality is the cavalry is more than enough to break most of what's left here for the attackers because keep in mind all of these archers are running out of ammo or have run out of ammo these Illyrian marines are just absolutely fantastic these Illyrian Marines are fighting against the general. Illyrian Marines have 20, sorry, 60 bonus versus large, and they're fighting against two generals, and the generals will lose a lot of men over there. Ballistas placed a, uh, oof. 200 kills on the Ballista. The Ballistas came in and fired close combat into these chosen swordsmen, but they didn't manage to do much. The noble horse general over here getting absolutely swarmed by these Illyrian marines and it's not doing very well. It's trying to run away and charge into this place over here trying to get out. These Galatian legionnaires are finally going to be able to charge forward as those Illyrian marines have been broken. This again what we were talking about earlier a charge from horse over there would have been absolutely fantastic. The Agama Cavalry unfortunately decided to stay back and now more troops are being committed. The last few reserves are being committed for the attacker for the defense and the defense is holding its own pretty well considering the situation the onslaught of units 
at this point, I would just completely zerg rush the defense. Heavy horse over here trying to break through these pressure hoplites, not ma managing very well. 21 uh, still alive. The light horse managing to get into the settlement. Where is the general for the the noble horse is over here and the Hippias Lancers over here, but it seems there was a complete rout of the Galatian troops. The Galatian troops have been pushed back, they have been broken, the Galatian longswords have been broken. Illyrian marines charging straight in headlong into this force over here, into these archers, and they're just doing damage. They're wrecking up the kills. 200 kills on Illyrian marines. These guys are absolute beasts. The generals are moving in, the Massilian general charges in to do one last full unit over here. The Levy Freeman getting wrecked, uh, they're down so much. The light cavalry, right horse charges in into the slingers. These slingers down already instantly being broken. 40 deaths in one charge, 50 deaths in one charge and they are routing off the battlefield. This is complete, utter demolition of the defenders of the attackers apologies these guys are running and noble horse notes he's not going to give them a chance to recover charging in into them those syrian heavy archers are absolutely gone if only few who got on top of the building survived galatian legionnaires over here getting absolutely hammered by that cavalry the defense has managed to overcome the attack these illyrian marines over here 269 kills these guys over here uh Taurus spears are doing very well uh the light horse over 99 kills over there they're going to get charged by the noble horse but that is going to be the end of them the massilian lancers over here 83 kills the general supporting their units at was absolutely beautiful it moved so fast noble horse over there chilling in the rear uh illyrian marines charging back here and uh, 300 kills on those illyrian marines these guys are still out for blood only 40 kills but these Assyrian heavy archers which still had ammunition unfortunately are dying Taurus spears over there doing their thing the Epeos Lancer charging back the light horse uh, got uh, pulled back no the light horse got routed that noble horse of course it's a very very strong unit uh, the Syrian archers breaking, Galatian legionnaires breaking, most of the attackers are breaking, and the balance of power is just slinging in favor of the defense. This was an absolutely stellar defense. A beautiful attack as well. The attacking team did well. They have the strategy, right? What they need now is just a bit of better teamwork and timing, and they would have been able to overcome the defense because it was very close. And that is GG. Well, if this noble horse decides to break, it seems it has still another 30 seconds for it to break. The Hippias Lancers are charging in again, and uh, noble horse is like, nope, I, I, still, I still have some fight in me. Or do I? It seems it does, but it doesn't, you know. Still trying to decide if the situation is what it is. I wonder, 200 kills on that. 342 kills, 162, 365 kills, damn. Yeah, these these are these are really good numbers. I mean, again, they're killing routing units towards the end of the game. And of course, you're gonna get a crap ton of kills. So the most kills comes from the Gre oh, okay, I missed up, mixed up. Uh, Greece was the Adri, Crack Shields was Massilla, Essence was Arvani. I mixed those guys up. Killer Rube, Madrid, and yes, Marshall. So let's see. Uh, Craig. Overall. Yeah, overall, I'd say really good use of his units, considering most of the time he's fighting uh, Galatia on his flank and his cavalry, of course. His fortune, his light cavalry got uh, taken out, but his best answer is doing really well. So that was really good. Greece over there. Uh, his slingers. Class. Illyrian Marines also uh, doing really good, especially 244 kills. His Illyrian Reavers at the start of the game, Illyrian Raiders doing 132 kills, and he still had a Mercenary X Warriors, which was pretty full health, and his Illyrian Noble Hoplites, which would probably hold on forever. And Essence uh, doing his own over here. His cavalry, of course, getting a lot of kills. That's what Essence is known for. And of 
course, decent amount of kills on a couple of chosen swordsmen doing very well over there killer rube is the one who got the most kills for his team and that comes to no surprise galatia has some stellar infantry excellent archers and incredibly good melee cavalry madrat overall doing very good his artillery getting 200 kills at the end of that however his problem comes with the syrian archers doing very terribly and a number of historic swordsmen not managing to get over 100 kills which is a shame his pikemen could have gotten a few more again and Marshall, considering he was absolutely surrounded and non-stop assaulted, his fierce sword is doing very well. And his Celtic warriors holding their own. Perhaps I would have gotten a little bit more of flavor in my army, uh, changed a few units around. His, his most unfortunate thing is that his Oatsworn and his Ballista were completely wrecked. Guys, I hope you liked this video. It's 55 minutes long. If you're still around, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you do have your own replays, send them to totalwarbro at gmail.com. I will review them and I will get to them as soon as I can. Stay safe out there, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.